Map reading seven, lightweight compass. It is essential as a soldier that you are able to use the lightweight compass effectively to take and plot grids and magnetic bearings. In this short video, the following objectives will be covered. Component parts of a lightweight compass, taking a magnetic bearing, plotting grid bearings, taking grid bearings, orientating a map. A lightweight compass is the same as a civilian bought silver compass with one exception. In the military, the graduations are in mils as opposed to degrees. I will now indicate the main parts of the compass. Base plate, direction of travel arrow, compass capsule, reading scale, index line, orientating lines with red north arrow, compass needle with red north end, luminous patches. A point to note, when handling a lightweight compass, any electrical or metal equipment will affect its accuracy. So for example, it is advised to use the compass three meters away from personal weapons and up to 50 meters clear of armor or artillery. This is how to use the lightweight compass to take a magnetic bearing. Placing the compass horizontally in your hand, point the direction of travel arrow towards your desired target and look at where the red end of the compass needle is pointing. This is the direction of the magnetic north pole. With the other hand, turn the compass capsule until the capsule red arrow is aligned underneath the red end of the needle and the compass needle is parallel with the orientating lines. The compass is now set correctly, red to red. To get the bearing, simply read the number against the direction of travel arrow. It is numbered in hundreds of mils and is therefore said, for example, 5400 mils. To take a grid bearing from your location circled in red to a target location, you place the long side of the compass base plate against your location and pivot the compass until the direction of travel arrow and the same side of the compass base plate is pointing towards your target. Twist the compass capsule until the orientating lines are parallel with the north-south grid lines and read off the bearing. To take a grid bearing from two locations circled in red, simply place the long side of the compass base plate against the two points, ignoring the compass capsule so the red north arrow points up the map to the grid north, and on the orientating lines are parallel with the north-south grid lines. Lastly, to orientate a map with a lightweight compass, place the compass on your map. Turn the compass capsule until the reading scales read zero and the red north arrow points along the direction of travel arrow. Place the side of the compass against any north-south grid line with the direction of travel towards grid north, then turn the map and compass together until the red end of the compass needle is aligned with the orientating lines and is centered on the red north arrow.